Hello, I'm back with you again to uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to start up the F6F Hellcat and uh, a quick flight uh, around Pearl Harbor. First, you turn on the master battery switch, the radios, the lights, uh, lights as needed. Then we'll taxi out to the uh, grass strip and take off, perform a few maneuvers, come back around and land. Calibrating my throttles, making sure all my bindings are correct for uh, the throttle, the mixture, and the prop. For my controls, they seem to be functioning okay. Zoom down here. Open the cow flaps, open the oil cooler. And then, uh, turn the fuel selector on to either the main center tank or, uh, or the drop tank. Actually, I'm pretty sure they use the fuel out of the wings first and then the center tank. But they would, uh, I know they would use the fuel out of the drop tank first. Crank up the uh, the engine here in a second. Turn the magneto switch on to both, and then the primer. Hit the starter. And then when the engine hits, go full rich on the mixture. See it crank up. Zoom in down to the oil pressure gauge. Make sure you have oil pressure. Uh, there we go. Uh, there's the mouse showing the oil pressure, fuel pressure at the bottom left of that, those gauges. The, uh, the generator, you have to get the RPMs up above 1300 RPMs sitting at idle. Uh, with the throttle all the way back, won't provide enough to provide electrical power to charge the battery. Then turn on the pedo heat. And then we'll close the canopy here in a minute and taxi out. After takeoff, I won't be doing too much talking. I'll just let y'all watch the video uh, of the flight maneuvers and and then coming in around to land. And again, we're in Pearl Harbor uh, down in Hawaii. Checking all the flight controls, making sure they're working free and correct. Now, because I didn't follow my own checklist, I forgot to do a magneto check. But uh, this being a flight simulator, I don't think that's a problem of the uh, magnetos not working correctly. Taxi out. When you taxi this... Uh, well, this, uh, this aircraft, but any tail dragger, really, uh, you really have to be thinking ahead when you're taxiing, especially this aircraft. It's got a lot of horsepower, and, uh, and if you get on the brakes too much, it'll actually tip forward, and uh, you'll tear up the prop and the cowling. The engine had to be broken down and rebuilt. Uh... 
but when you taxi, when you steer, because you're going so slow, there's not enough airflow over the rudder to really be able to steer it, so you're constantly having to use the left and right uh, tow brakes as needed to steer the aircraft left and right, at least until you get up to uh, a high taxi speed uh, where you got enough airflow going over the rudder to make it more effective. See, I'm using the right tow brake a little bit trying to turn the aircraft around without spin it around too much, line it up with the grass strip here. And then this engine's got so much torque that uh, you really don't want need to put uh, full power in all at once. Uh, you gradually bring it up to about halfway, about half throttle. Uh, make sure you pull the stick all the way back at least at first to keep the tail wheel on the ground. Uh, to help with steering and then as you pick up speed slowly release the stick uh, to neutral and if you need to use the tow brakes just a little bit not much at all to keep the to keep the aircraft lined up with the runway by this point the rudder should be effective and then once you're going good enough speed to apply full throttle put the landing gear up this aircraft takes off with no flaps. Uh, and now we're up. And just continue to uh, adjust the elevator trim for climb out as needed. And from here on out, I'll just let y'all watch the video.
Okay, I'm back for a moment. Uh, the it's only got one notch of flaps uh, in the simulator that you press, and they just go full flaps. Uh, make sure your landing gear's down, flaps down, uh, prop and mixture full forward, and just uh, go easy on the throttle coming in. Your approach speed will be about 100 knots, then as you get close to the runway, somewhere between 90 and 100 knots will be your touchdown speed. Uh, Now the air, this aircraft, uh, usually if you're sitting in the cockpit, you kind of have to come in at a steep glide slope so you can see over the nose, see the runway. Uh, I came in a little low uh, and just kind of dragged it in. So I took it to the outside view and I couldn't see my airspeed or anything, so I just kind of judged it by how fast it's going across the ground when to uh, slow down and cut the throttle. Uh, and just roll it out but don't get on the brakes at all until it gets super slow because uh, you'll loop it or spin around just use the left and right toe brake to keep it straight along with the rudder uh, as needed and then once you get slow enough then you can ease on the brakes don't go full brakes or you'll flip it over and uh, using the tow brakes I'm going kind of taxiing kind of fast here but taxi off the runway come over here to the side park in the grass and uh, open the canopy there you can hear the sound difference between when the canopy is closed versus open Put the parking brake on. Uh, and then pull the mixture to uh, cut off. And that'll shut the engine off. And there you go. Thank you, and have a good day.